we're not seeing as many complaints about proxies yes. cash. Yeah, Incredible was asking me about that too. Okay, yeah. but at the same time, I walked into it for a client yeah. to see if you know we could use the code you suggested. Yeah. Can we use that if we have a dedicated server? Oh, okay. So that's, that's not a fix. Yeah, that's annoying. So. You know, so your crawl team should know that. Yeah, I'll tell you what I told Incredible, which is we're getting much better on proxies, but we're, we're sort of taking the easy win in that there's some really simple heuristics you can do that will help out a lot with that. And so we've made some changes recently to help out a lot with those really easy, sort of simple heuristics. Uh -huh. um, I think I wouldn't call it done, but at least we're making some forward progress and the ball is rolling. And anytime people like point out examples or blog examples like Dan Thies, I'm able to go like, hey, look at this. We need to keep, you know, making sure we pay attention to proxies. Um, and I think it's sort of fun because I was looking into it recently, and some of these proxies will insert a comment that say this page is proxied from da 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 da. So like the NPH dash proxy guy, you know, that software package. Half the time, if you just use the stock thing, it'll tell you this is a proxy page. So I was saying, well, why don't we load in on the comments and key off of that? So I would think that what they do is remove their signatures. A lot of them do. Yeah. And you know, it's like, oh, let's go for the dumb proxies first. At least. Yeah. So. By the way, that information you gave about directories and subdomains uh -huh. being equivalent, that has answered many questions. It's, you know, uh, I, I would love it if we can get past the whole paid links thing a little bit, which uh -huh. has been the hot topic for the last six months, and get back to sort of this crunchy, like, subdomains versus subdirectories, and how do I lay it out like this, and, you know, I'm kind of tired of that whole paid links thing. I want to kind of talk about some concrete stuff like that, so it's good to get this question. Now, if I'm getting into secret sauce stuff, that's fair. Okay. okay, but I was afraid when subdomains I thought were treated as separate sites, yeah. we're, that we're, if we cross-link them, it would be looked at as a closed link network. No, not really. No. Okay. You could create an excessive number of subdomains. Yeah, so for example, well, there if, is, uh, if you do wildcard DNS, you know, that can get you into trouble. Okay. Um, but in general, no, we, we don't view them as completely separate and so cross like you should. How about every city in town in the United States? How about a what? Every city in town. That would be a little, that would be a little much. Well, I, you know, I, I, or, or at least know. cross linking them, right? Because if no, you really no, cross link what every we do is be, be linking to kind of a nearby town. That would be better. That would be better. Yeah, I mean, we'd never. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that, no. I thought you were saying cross link. No, 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 I'm no, like, no, wow. No, no, that that's would like 30,000 cities right. square. 30, 30, Right. Yes, yes. Um, now, this is the secret sauce question. Okay. Are those links treated any differently than that nav links? That is a secret sauce question. Sorry. Than, <laughs> you know, than internal oh, nav links. Yeah, that is kind of a secret okay. sauce question. Yeah, all right. <laughs> For WordPress, should I limit my crowd tag to a limit? Say one more time. For WordPress, should I limit my crowd tag? Crowd tags. Your oh, should I get a, put all the tag in every single page or should I leave it? You know, my rule of thumb is grab a different person. Like, grab him. He looks like a regular person, right? No, you. You. Yeah. <laughs> and show him your website. And if he's like, dang, that's a lot of tags, then you're probably getting toward the excessive part, right? Like, three, four, five tags should be no problem. But if you've got 20, 30, 40 tags, that starts to look really good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, then, uh, like I had a, a guy report a different uh, competitor early last yesterday, and he was he was doing meta keyword stuffing, and I'm like, well, it doesn't do any good at all, so I don't really care that much. And he was like, but look at them all, it's annoying. And I'm like, yeah, it is kind of annoying, but I don't know whether we want to go to the trouble of taking him out for a while, send him an email, just because he's doing this thing that's annoying but doesn't have any effect on the search engine. But you want to you want to avoid getting that close to the
trap in the box and the box will just flow easily to the side? Impossible. You don't want to have, you, you don't want to, hierarchical is good, but you don't want to be like eight links from the root page. Got it. Right? It doesn't matter how many directories, but if Googlebot has to go down eight links, each one of those hops, you know, 10, 15, 20 your page rate, that's just the page rate we're going to So, you do want hierarchical, but you also want a little bit of file. So, you want to have high kind of fan I'll use an example. Let's say you have, you know, the 50 states in the United States. Yep. So many states have so many counties, so many counties, so many towns. Sure. I would put, would I go all the way down or would I have it as a long flat type of thing? I would, I, you know, 50 states is about right. That's okay. good. And then within each state, you know, Kentucky's got 120 counties. Got it. So that's, you know, that's about right. Or you could pick, okay, here's the 20 biggest cities in each state. But, you know, look for some way to limit it so that if a user lands on it, they're not just like, oh, Here's 300 links that there's no other text or anything else. What would you consider acceptable as far as how deep should you go in the hierarchy? So what we, our, our general advice is to have about 100 links on the page. And the main reason for that is because we used to crawl about 100K. And so if the page was 100K, then, you know, about 100 links looked about right. But that was a technical guideline. That was like a suggestion. That's not like a web spam guideline. So typically what happens is if you've got high pan out, remember you're dividing your page rank each time. So if you have like a thousand links, there's like no page rank. Got it. So, you know, less than a hundred, you can, you know, 50 states, 50 is a nice number because you can understand it. That's what we have Does the album penalize you for the navigation? For example, if I have to say we're product, 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 product. Right. And I need them for navigation for the end use. Remember, what's good for the album is not necessarily good for the right. end user experience. What I recommend is this breadcrumb structure. So yeah. if you're, you know, okay, I'm in men's clothes, I'm in sweaters, I'm in cashmere. So you men's clothes, sweaters, cashmere, and the user knows where they are, and they can click on any one of those categories and they can go to the wider category. It flows all the page rank around nicely. People don't get lost, and that's just a good navigation. Yeah, but what about general things that even Google has? Yep. You have contact us anywhere throughout yeah. the site. I'm repeating that thing just like you guys do. Yeah, yeah, and that's fine. What, that's what not, you know, that's no, it's not spammy, but you know, imagine you've got 70 sites and you're cross linking all those 70, and that's your boilerplate. That doesn't work. Of course, that looks like yeah. obvious spam. Yeah. But I mean, if you get five or ten, and it's like contact us, privacy, 